I was kind of shut out from friend groups and became kind of an outcast. And these two to three years, I mean, I was really at a low point. Depression was really bad. This definitely just kind of perverted my outlook a lot on life and people as a whole. And so even shutting out my family, I just kind of felt like I wasn't needed and like I had no purpose. I grew up and was raised in Searcy, Arkansas. And then further down the line, my family moved to Louisville, Kentucky. And there my dad, they pastored a church for quite a while. My siblings gave their life to Christ. And so as a kid, you know, like I kind of did the same exact thing, just following their footsteps. Coming out of eighth grade, you know, COVID came in. And so it's crazy, eighth grade, we went home at the half of the year and I just started to, to pick up habits and kind of started to isolate. I started to develop a, a porn addiction, which is kind of really not spoken about. I started to, to skate a lot. And so in this uh, environment, you know, I started to pick up substances and alcohol, um, experimentation, but also uh, addiction. And so I kind of that developed into suicidal thoughts. I couldn't really talk to anybody, nor did I think I had anyone to talk to because of just the way that like my outlook was toward people. And so I wrestled with it myself. I definitely started to question faith, question the existence of God. I really just believed that like there was there was nothing out there. I think I hit rock bottom. It, it was a night, uh, I think it was in December of 2023, where I was kind of driving, like there was just the thought of like, man, I haven't like tried Jesus or God in a minute. I turned on the song. I believe it's what a beautiful name. I remember like it just kind of like broke through the, the walls that I'd put up. I just kind of like got shattered, was crying, weeping. So after that, I met this, this dude named Melvin Martinez. He's been in my life a couple months prior to this. He was so persistent in the moments of like this dark period that I was in, where he was reaching out to actually asking how I was, if I, if I wanted to meet up. God's allowed him to, to water the seed in me to grow. And so with that, Melvin's kind of showed me the right steps, made me want to take my faith more serious. When I finally like said that prayer, like, Lord, just teach me what it means to follow you. Like after that, I really had no desire to, to turn back to those things. After making that wholehearted decision, God definitely set me free from the porn addiction for sure. I like started to intercede for my family and like pray and seeing how God like heard my prayers. I'm just thankful that, that my family's beginning to, to like kind of shake off the dust off their feet and get back onto the right track. I believe I'm called to full-time ministry and so that opened doors to New Life College and here I am freshman studying uh, pastoral care and counseling. So definitely feel the Lord at work through this education. There's a lot of things, you know, it's kind of like a refresh. Right now on this track, I have a vision for myself. You know, I want to I want to be able to teach one day. I really enjoy teaching. It just brings me so much joy. And just being able to, to break down God's word. For example, like the youth. Um, so in youth group on Wednesday nights, I get to teach sometimes. And so through that, I've gotten to, to see kind of like God at work in that. You can see these kids grasp it and go out and apply it and bring back like twice the amount of kids that they invited the next week. And so really just saying that just brings so much joy looking back toward my past. Seeing the moments where like, I really had no hope in, in Jesus, I kind of confined God into like the, the human mind. And so really I just kind of pushed it off, but God's completely abolished and wrecked that idea that I had and that perspective I've had and like has, has shown me his faithfulness in my life. My name is Connor Soros and I'm becoming fully devoted.